and Calvin uh, and his view on baptism. Calvin's around from 1509 to 1564. Uh, he's the French Protestant uh, reformer, of course. Uh, Calvin envisioned an entirely different meaning for baptism. Uh, the concept of predestination enters the picture here. Uh, his belief that our salvation from first to last is a work of God's, well, unearned grace. Uh, God saves only those that he elected. Yet Calvin holds a high view. Even with this uh, idea, he holds a high view of, this, uh, of the baptismal sacrament. Uh, in the concept of predestination, God foreknows and predetermines the outcome of all things, including an individual's life, uh, and as well as their eternal destiny. Now, predestination, this concept is not uh, unique to Christianity. Uh, there are similar ideas in other religions. Uh, for example, Qadar in Islam or Karma in Hinduism. Uh, to Calvin, human beings are so subverted to sin uh, that they do not have the capacity to seek salvation, let alone find it. So if any human beings at all are saved, it can only be from the sovereign will of God because God decrees it. Uh, and of course, those that are saved form a community of the elect. To Calvin, the human will is so enslaved to sin, uh, and, uh, well, God's grace is needed to make the choice uh, for God. Uh, grace is given only to those predestined to receive it. God accommodates himself to the human level by becoming a person, Jesus Christ, uh, to Calvin. With the crucifixion of Christ, our humanity is turned back to God. Uh, by being bound to Christ in faith, uh, we can now reconcile with God. Uh, and the Bible is the key to that reconciliation. Uh, salvation to Calvin is direct work of the Holy Spirit and the Scriptures. A child that is numbered among the chosen elect of God has already been saved. Uh, whether it has been baptized or not. Uh, if among the elect of God, the baptizing will do nothing for the baby. Uh, now, the question is, who are the elect? Well, no one knows the answer uh, except God. Uh, no one knows who the elect are except God. Uh, for those who appear, uh, well, for example, those who appear just in public, can be sinners in secret. Only God knows the truth. Only God knows who the elect are. Now, a public profession of faith, a uh, morally good life, a uh, sincere fear of God, God's righteous judgment, are, according to Calvin, well, all good indicators that an individual is among the chosen ones. But we really don't know for sure. Only God, according to Calvin, knows who the saved are, who the chosen are, who the elect are. Uh, to Calvin, there can be no moral laxity allowed. Uh, immorality is a sign of eternal damnation. Baptism or not. Uh, to Calvin, baptism is not uh, a cause of salvation, but a sign of salvation. A sign of their faith that God's mercy and grace has already been given to them. Baptism is a symbol of their purification. Now, John Calvin's viewpoint for me uh, creates a bit of a theological problem. Uh, the severity of God uh, in predestining uh, so many people to eternal damnation. Uh, and what about the responsibility of human beings' free will in their own decisions? Uh, this is just a thought, folks. Uh, folks, not a judgment. Uh, you have to make up your own minds considering John Calvin's theology. All right, let's move on to Elric Zwiggle. All right, let's move on to Elric Zwiggle.